गुड आफ्टरनून आई एम डॉक्टर जी एस प्रसाद प्रोफेसर डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ मैथमेटिक्स सी एम आर इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ टेक्नोलॉजी बैंगलोर थर्टी सेवन आई हैव अलॉटेड एट स्लॉट्स आई एम गोइंग टू कवर दीज टॉपिक्स ग्रेडियंट ऑफ ए स्केल आर फंक्शन यूनिट नॉर्मल डायरेक्शनल डेरेवेटिव डाइवर्जेंस ऑफ ए वैक्टर फंक्शन curl of a vector function solenoidal and irrotational fields simple and direct problems application of laplace transform to differential equation and simultaneous differential equations today i am going to teach gradient of a scalar function before going to start gradient of a scalar function let us what is partial differentiation you have to know partial differentiation means let f be a function in two independent variables x and y that is f is equal to f of x comma y the function f of x comma y treat y as a constant and x vary alone the function f the function f the function f with respect to x with respect to x the derivative of f with respect to x only this is called the partial differentiation with respect to x partial differentiation of f with respect to x it is denoted as do f by do x is equal to limit of h tends to 0 f of x plus h comma y minus f of x comma y divided by h similarly you can define partial differentiation of do f by do y then do f by do y equals limit of k tends to 0 f of x comma y plus k minus f of x comma y divided by k this is the definition of the partial differentiation do f by do x and do f by do y now i'll give one example u is equal to x cube y squared u is equal to x cube y squared you define find do u by do x and do u by do y find do u by do x and do u by do y first you can differentiating partially with respect to x differentiating partially with respect to x do u by do x is equal to when differentiating partially with respect to x y is constant y treated as a constant y squared is constant x cube differentiation is 3x squared this is the do u by do x is equal to y squared 3x squared now similarly you can find out do u by do y you can same function differentiating partially with respect to partially with respect to y that is do u by do y equals here x cube is constant while differentiating partially with respect to y x cube is constant y square differentiation is 2y this is do u by do y similarly i'll give one more example u equals 3x squared y plus 5x squared z see so now define find find do u by do x do squared u by do x do y so here first you can find out do u by do x if you differentiating partially with respect to x do u by do x is equal to 6xy because y is constant 3x square differentiation is 6x plus 5x square z it is 10xz 
So now again you have to find out dou squared u by dou x dou y. Already you know dou u by dou x. Same function again differentiating partially with respect to y. This is dou squared u by dou x dou y equals 6xy. 6x is constant and y differentiation is 1. Then 10xz is 0. This is the answer. Okay, I will proceed to gradient of scalar functions. Let phi is equal to phi of x comma y comma z be a given scalar field. Then the vector fung then the vector whose x comma y comma z components are dou phi by dou x comma dou phi by dou y comma dou phi by dou z respectively is called a gradient of phi at the point x comma y comma z it is denoted by gradient of phi or del phi. So, here that means so here gradient of phi means so you know del, del is called the differential operator. It can be denoted as dou x by dou by dou x of i cap, dou by dou y of j cap, dou by dou z of k cap. This is del is called the differential operator and phi is it is given phi is equal to phi of x comma y comma z. Now, you can multiply this phi with gradient this is gradient of phi is equal to dou phi by dou x i cap dou phi by dou y j cap dou phi by dou z k cap this is the gradient of phi definition by using this is the del is the differential operator and phi you have to multiply these two you get the gradient of phi formula. Next you can solve the problem if phi of x comma y comma z equals x squared minus y squared plus 2 y z plus 2 z square find gradient of phi at the point 1 comma minus 2 comma 1. First you can write the formula. What is the formula? Gradient of phi equals dou phi by dou x into i, I cap plus dou phi by dou y into j cap plus dou phi by dou z k cap. So, here we can write the formula. Gradient of phi dou phi by dou x i cap dou phi by dou y j cap dou phi by dou z k cap. Now, what is the given function? Phi is given. Phi equals x squared minus y squared plus 2zx, uh, two, sorry 2yz, two 2yz two uh, plus 2z square. So, here this function first we can differentiating, differentiating partially with respect to x comma y comma z separately. First we can differentiating partially with respect to x comma y comma z separately. So, here dou phi by dou x first we can differentiating partially with respect to x, x square differentiation is 2x minus y squared is 0 plus 2yz is also 0, 2z square also 0 because there is no x term then dou phi by dou x is equal to 2x. Similarly, if differentiating partially with respect to y, dou phi by dou y equals x square difference 0, y squared is minus 2y and 2yz is plus 2z, y differentiation is 1, minus 2y plus 2z. Similarly, differentiating partial with respect to z, x squared is 0, minus y squared is 0, 2yz, 2y is constant, z differentiation is 1, then 2y plus here 2z square, 2z square differentiation is 4z. See, you know dou phi by dou x is equal to 2x, dou phi by dou y is equal to minus 2y plus 2z and dou phi by dou z is equal to 2y plus 4z. You can substitute in this equations gradient of phi formula. Gradient of phi is equal to uh, dou f by dou x into i cap plus dou f by dou y into j cap plus dou phi by dou z into k cap. Now, you can substitute in this equation. This equals dou phi by dou x already calculated. 2x into i cap plus dou phi by dou y value is minus 2y plus 2z into j cap plus dou phi by dou z value is 2y plus 4z into k cap. So, after getting gradient of phi, what is the given uh, problem? 
at the point 1 comma minus 2 comma 1 you can substitute x is equal to 1 y is equal to minus 2 and z is equal to 1 you get the um, gradient of y is equal to 2 i vector plus 6 j cap plus 0 cap this is the answer. Next second problem if phi is e phi of x comma y comma z is equal to x squared y cube z to the power 4 find gradient of phi. First we can write the formula. Formula is gradient of phi equals dou phi by dou x i cap dou phi by dou y j cap and dou phi by dou z k cap. You can write the formula and what is the given function is? Function is phi is equal to phi is equal to x squared y cube z to the power 4. Now, this term if differentiating partially with respect to x comma y comma z, then differentiating partially with respect to x dou phi by dou x is equal to here y cube z cube is constant x square difference is 2 x, 2 x y cube z to the power of 4. See again differentiating partially with respect to y is dou phi by dou y equals here x cube z x squared and z to the power 4 is constant y cube differ differentiation is 3 y squared. Then again differentiating partially with respect to z dou phi by dou z is equal to here x squared y cube is constant z to the power 4 differentiation is 4 z cube. So, here after getting the value of dou phi by dou x value dou phi by dou y value, dou phi by dou z value you can substitute, you get gradient of phi is equal to 2xy cube z to the power 4 into i cap plus 3x squared y squared z to the power 4 j cap plus 4x squared y cube z cube k cap. This is the required result. Next third one, if phi is equal to xy plus yz plus zx and a vector is equal to x squared y i cap plus y square z j cap plus z square x k cap show that the a vector dot gradient of phi is equal to 25 at the point 3 comma minus 1 comma 2. First we can write again write the formula that is gradient of phi equals dou phi by dou x i cap plus dou phi by dou y j cap plus dou phi by dou z k cap we can write. Now given from a problem is phi is equal to x y plus y z plus z x. Now, you can differentiating partially with respect to x comma y comma z. First, you can find out dou phi by dou x. If you differentiating partially with respect to x, dou phi by dou x is equal to x y. y is constant, x differentiation is 1 plus y z there is no x term is 0 plus z is constant, x differentiation is 1. This is y plus z. Now again differentiating partially with respect to y that is dou phi by dou y equals again x is constant y differentiation is 1 plus there is y is z is constant y differentiation 1 there is no z x that is 0 this is equal to x plus y. Similarly, you can differentiating partially with respect to z dou phi by dou z is equal to x y is 0 there is no z term plus y is constant z differentiation is 1 plus x is constant z differentiation is 1 this is y plus x. So, here after getting dou phi by dou x value is y plus z dou phi by dou y value is x plus z dou phi by dou z value is y plus x you can substitute in the given in the formula gradient of phi is equal to this is y plus z into i cap plus x plus z into j cap plus uh, yeah, y plus x into k cap this is gradient of phi. Then what is the given conditions at the point 3 comma minus 1 comma 2. Now after getting gradient of phi you have to substitute the values at the point um, 3 comma minus 1 comma 2 means put x equal to 3 y is equal to minus 1 and z is equal to 2 gradient of phi that is 3 comma minus 1 comma 2 you get the result i cap plus phi j cap plus 2 k cap and another term is given a vector is given a vector means a vector means x squared y i cap 
प्लस वाई स्क्वायर जेड जे कैप प्लस जेड स्क्वायर एक्स के कैप अगेन यू हैव टू दे गिवन द कंडीशंस थ्री कॉमा माइनस वन कॉमा टू यू कैन सब्सट्रैक्ट द वैल्यू ऑफ एक्स इज इक्वल टू थ्री वाई इज इक्वल टू माइनस वन जेड इज इक्वल टू टू नाउ व्हाट यू गेट हियर ए वेक्टर at the point minus 3 comma 3 comma minus 1 comma 2 equals you get the result is 9 i cap plus 2 j cap uh, plus 12 k 12 k cap then gradient of phi at the point is gradient of phi at the point 3 comma minus 1 comma 2 is that is oh, i cap plus phi j cap plus 2 uh, k cap So now your intention to find out a vector dot gradient of phi. A vector dot gradient of phi means you have to take the dot product. A vector, a vector dot gradient of phi equals a vector, a vector dot at the point three comma minus one comma two is nine i cap plus two j cap plus twelve k cap. This is a vector dot. Gradient of phi at the point three comma minus one comma two is i cap plus phi j cap plus two k cap. Now you can take the dot product. I i dot i is one. I dot i is one is get minus nine. J dot j is j dot j is uh, that is one. K dot k is one. Then you get minus nine plus ten plus twenty four. You get twenty five. Next, if phi is equal to x cube plus y cube plus z cube minus 3x y z, find gradient of phi and modulus of gradient of phi at the point. First, we can write the gradient of phi formula. Gradient of phi equals gradient of phi equals do phi by do x i cap uh, plus do phi by do y j cap plus do phi by do z k cap. Now, what is the given uh, problem? Is phi equals phi equals x cube plus y cube plus z cube minus 3x y z 3x y z. Now we have to find out the first gradient of phi means you can differentiating partially with respect to x. Differentiating partially with respect to x. So here, if we differentiating partially with respect to x, do phi by do x is equal to x cube differentiation is 3x squared, y cube difference zero, z cube is difference zero because you are differentiating partially with respect to x minus 3x y z differentiation is minus 3 y z is constant, x differentiation is one. This is minus 3 y z. This is do phi by do x. Similarly, if we differentiating partially with respect to y, do phi by do y is equal to x cube is zero, y cube differentiation is three y squared, z cube is also zero minus three x y z. Here three minus three x z is constant. Y differentiation is one. This is minus three x z. Similarly, can differentiating partially with respect to z, do phi by do z, do phi by do z is x cube is zero, y cube is zero, z cube is three z square minus three x y is constant. Z differentiation is one, three x y. You know, do phi by do x value, do phi by do y value, do phi by do z value. Now we can substitute the formula. Then what do you get? Do f by do x equals Gradient of phi equals do f by do x value is 3x squared minus 3y z into i cap plus 3y squared minus 3x z into j cap plus 3z squared minus 3xy into k cap. See, so in the problem, they given at the point 1 comma minus 1 comma 2 means. Put x is equal to one and y is equal to minus one and z is equal to two. We get nine i cap minus three j cap plus fifteen k cap. So after getting gradient of phi, you have to find the modulus of gradient of phi. Modulus of gradient of phi means you know gradient of phi value is nine uh, i cap minus three j cap plus fifteen. K cap. This is gradient of phi. If you find out, if you want to find out modulus of gradient of phi, is equal to you can write square root of 
9 whole square plus minus 3 whole square plus 15 whole square. You can take the coefficient of i coefficient is 9, 9 whole square, j coefficient is minus 3 whole square and k coefficient is 15 whole square. Then square root of this you get 3 into root uh, 25 you are getting. This is the required result. Next fifth problem is if phi is equal to x square y plus y square z plus z square x find gradient of phi at 1 comma 2 comma 3. Again you have to write the formula gradient of phi is equal to dou phi by dou x i cap plus dou phi by dou y j cap plus dou phi by dou z k cap. Now after writing this formula you can uh, write the what is the given problem is phi is equal to x squared y phi is equal to x squared y plus y squared z plus z squared x. Now differentiating partially with respect to x, y, z because you want to find the values of dou phi by dou x, dou phi by dou y, dou phi by dou z. Differentiating, differentiating partially with respect to x then dou phi by dou x is equal to 2xy, x square difference 2x and y is constant, y square z is 0 plus z square x is z square is constant, x differentiation is 1. Next, again differentiating partially with respect to y, dou phi by dou y is equal to x square y, differentiation is x square is constant, y differentiation is 1, then plus z is constant, y square is 2yz and z squared x there is no y term is 0 then similarly dou phi by dou z is equal to x squared y is 0 y squared z is y squared plus z square x means a 2z into x this is dou phi by dou x value dou phi by dou y value dou phi by dou z value now you can substitute in the formula then gradient of phi equals z square plus 2xy into i cap plus x square plus 2yz into j cap plus y square plus 2zx into k cap. Now, you can substitute the points 1, 2, 3 means put x is equal to 1, y is equal to 1, z is equal to 3. Then the x component you get 13i and the y component is you get 13j and z component is 10k that is gradient of phi of 1 comma 2 comma 3 equals 13i plus 13j plus 10k, 10k vector. Next sixth problem, if phi is equal to x to the power of n plus y to the power of n plus z to the power of n where n is a non-zero real constant, prove that gradient of phi dot r is equal to n into phi, you have to prove. First we can write the formula, gradient of phi already familiar, gradient of phi formula is dou phi by dou x into i cap plus dou phi by dou y into j cap plus dou phi by dou z into k cap. Then the given problem is phi is equal to x to the power of n plus y to the power of n plus z to the power of n. So here this term you can differentiating partially with respect to x. If it differentiating partially with respect to x is dou phi by dou x is x to the power of n differentiation is n into x to the power of n minus 1 x to the power of n differentiation is n into x to the power of n minus 1, y n is 0, z to the power of n is 0. Similarly, you can differentiating partially with respect to y, dou phi by dou y is n into y to the power of n minus 1. Similarly, you can differentiating where third term is dou phi by dou z is equal to n into z to the power of n minus 1. See here, after knowing gradient dou phi by dou x, dou phi by dou y, dou phi by dou z, you can substitute in the formula, this is equal to n into x to the power of n minus 1 i cap plus n into y to the power of n minus 1 j cap, n into z to the power of n minus 1 k cap. See here, after substituting, see here, all the term containing n, 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 you can take out n common this is equal to n, then x to the power of n minus 1 i cap plus y to the power of n minus 1 j cap plus z to the power of n minus 1 k cap. See here, what is uh, you have to, uh, you are going to prove that gradient of phi dot r is equal to n into phi. See here, r is, is r is nothing but the um, 
R is equal to x i vector plus y j vector plus z k vector that is a position vector. R vector is nothing but is position vector R is equal R vector is equal to x i vector plus y j vector plus z k vector is a position vector. Then you know R vector is equal to x i vector plus y j vector plus z k vector and gradient of phi also you know gradient of phi is n into x to the power of n minus 1 i cap plus y to the power of n j cap z to the power of n minus 1 k factor. Now, you can take the dot product gradient of phi dot r vector gradient of phi dot r vector means gradient of phi means n into x to the power of n minus 1 i cap y to the power of n minus 1 j cap z to the power of n minus 1 k cap dot r vector is x i vector plus y j vector plus z k vector this is equal to this n you can write as it is here i dot i i dot i is 1 and i dot i is 1 means x to the power of 1 and x to the power of n minus 1 is x to the power of n because x to the power of n minus 1 plus 1 will get cancelled get x to the power of n plus j dot j is 1 y to y to the power of 1 and y to the power of n minus 1 is y to the power of n k dot k vector is 1 z to the power of n minus 1 and uh, uh, z to the power of 1 will comes plus z to the power of n then n into x to the power of n plus y to the power of n plus z to the power of n you know x to the power of n plus y to the power of n plus z to the power of n is given in the problem is phi it can substitute back then n into phi this is the required result. Next if a is a constant vector show that gradient of a vector dot r vector is equal to a first you can uh, write a vector what is a vector a vector is a constant vector that is given a vector is a constant vector means see here this is a vector is equal to a1 i vector plus a2 j vector plus a3 k vector this is constant vector you have to write it that is a vector is a constant vector a1 i vector plus a2 j vector plus a3 k vector a1 a2 a3 are the constant vectors then what is given you have to find out gradient of a vector dot r cap is equal to a then you, can, you know r vector r vector is a position vector that is r vector is equal to x i vector plus y j vector plus z k vector r vector is x i vector plus y j vector plus z k vector that is a position vector first you can take the dot product of a vector dot r vector then what you get a vector dot r vector equals See here a vector dot r vector if you take the dot product i dot i is 1 that is see here a 1 i vector a 2 j vector a 3 k vector dot x i vector plus y j vector plus z k vector this is equal to i dot i is 1 that is a 1 into x next j dot j is 1 plus a 2 y k dot k is 1 plus a 3 z then a 1 x a 2 y a 3 z this is a vector dot r vector. Now, your intention to find out del dot means gradient of a vector r you have to find out that is dou phi by dou x of a vector of r into i cap plus dou by dou y of a vector of r into j cap plus dou by dou z of a vector dot r into k cap. Now, you have to find out. Now, a vector dot r vector this you can differentiating partial with respect to x comma y comma z. See here if you differentiating partial with respect to x comma y comma z is dou by dou x of a vector dot r vector a 1 is constant x differentiation is 1 a 2 y is differentiation is 0 a 3 z differentiation is 0. Similarly, the differentiating partially with respect to y dou by dou y of a vector dot r vector a equals a 1 x is 0, a 2 is constant, y differentiation is 1 and a 3 z is 0. Similarly, dou by dou z of a vector dot r vector is equal to a 3 is constant, z differentiation is 1. Now, we know the value of a 1, a 2, a 3 can substitute a 1 i vector a 2 j vector a 3 k vector after getting dou by dou x of a vector dot r vector is a 1 dou by dou of a vector dot r vector is equal to a 2 
dou by dou z of a vector dot r vector is equal to a3, he can substitute in the formula, then a1 i plus a2 j plus a3 k, a1 i vector plus a2 j vector, a3 k vector, already you know, is a vector you have taken, it is a constant vector, this is equal to a vector, we have proved. Next, prove that del r to the power of n is equal to, prove that del r to the power of n is equal to n into r to the power of n minus 2 into r vector, where r vector is equal to x i vector plus y j vector plus z k vector, where r is equal to square root of x square plus y square plus z square. Now, we can write first gradient of phi first, we can write. gradient of phi equals, because you have to show that del r to the power of n, that is gradient of phi is equal to dou phi by dou x i cap, dou phi by dou y j cap, dou phi by dou z k cap. Then del r to the power of n means, that is gradient of r to the power of n means, dou by dou x of r to the power of n into i cap, dou by dou y of r to the power of n j cap plus dou by dou z of r to the power of n k cap. See and now, this is your differentiating partially with respect to x first, what do you get? If you differentiating partially with respect to x is dou by dou x of r to the power of n, n into r to the power of n minus 1 into dou r by dou x differentiation, r to the power of n differentiation is n into r to the power of n minus dou r by dou x. Similarly, dou by dou y of r to the power of n is equal to n into r to the power of n minus 1 into dou r by dou y. Then dou by dou z of r to the power of n is equal to n into r to the power of n minus 1 dou r by dou z. See and now, we want the value of dou r by dou x, dou r by dou y, dou r by dou z. What is given? R vector is given. R vector equals x i vector plus y j vector plus z k vector. Here, r is not a constant. r is a function of both x, y, z. Here, differentiating partially with respect to x. If you differentiating partially with respect to x, r is a function of both x, y, z, then dou r by dou x is equal to x differentiation is 1, then similarly here, oh sorry not r vector, r vector is equal to capital X i vector plus y j vector plus z k vector. If you take the modulus, if you take the modulus of r vector is equal to square root of x square plus y square plus z square. Then square the modulus, then what is given in the problem? r is equal to square root of x square plus y square plus z square means taking square on, uh, taking squaring on both sides, then r square is equal to x square plus y square plus z square. Taking square on both sides, r square is equal to x square plus y square plus z square. Now, differentiating partially with respect to x, then 2 r into dou r by dou x is equal to 2 x. 2 and 2 will get cancelled or you can transfer, it implies that dou r by dou x is equal to x by r. See, when dou r by dou x is equal to x by r, similarly, you can write dou r by dou y is also y by r, then dou r by dou z is equal to z by r. Now, you can substitute, in place of dou r by dou x, you know x by r, you can substitute, in place of dou r by dou y, you can substitute y by r, in place of dou r by dou z, you can substitute z by r, then you get the required result. What do you get? If you are substituting, this is equal to n into r to the power of n minus 1, then x by r. Here x by r, 1 x by r means, here n into x, r by r, 1 by r is r to the power of minus 1, that is r to the power of n minus 2. Similarly, n into y, n into y r to the power of n minus 2. Similarly, n into r to the power of n minus 2 z. Now, we can substitute in these equations. Then, gradient, uh, gradient of r to the power of n value is, this is equal to, what do you get? n into x to the power of, uh, n into x r to the power of n minus 2 i cap 
plus n into y r to the power of n minus 2 j cap plus n into uh, z r to the power of n minus 2 k cap. This is the gradient of r to the power of n. So, now you have to prove that uh, del r to the power of n is equal to n into r to the power of n minus 2 r vector. Here you can take common n into r to the power of n minus 2 throughout the equation you can take common. You can take common n into r to the power of n minus 2 take common remaining is x i vector plus y j vector plus z k vector then n into r to the power of n minus 2 x i vector plus y j vector plus z k vector is given r vector we have proved. Next unit normal gradient of phi is the normal vector normal vector surface phi of x comma y comma z then a unit normal vector then the, then a unit normal vector is denoted by n cap n cap is a unit normal vector is defined as gradient of phi divided by modulus of gradient of phi. n cap is equal to gradient of phi divided by modulus of gradient of phi, where n vector is equal to gradient of phi is equal to normal vector. Similarly, directional derivative, if you define the directional derivative, if a vector is any vector if a vector is any vector is any scalar point function then gradient of phi dot a vector divided by modulus of a vector that is directional derivative directional derivative is equal to gradient of phi dot a cap gradient of phi is the gradient of phi can be written as dou phi by dou x i cap plus dou f by dou y j cap plus dou phi by dou z k vector and a cap is a unit vector. Unit vector can be written as a cap is equal to a vector divided by modulus of a vector. This is the gradient directional derivative formula. Next first problem find a unit normal to the surface y z plus z x plus x y is equal to c at the point p minus 1 comma 2 comma 3. See here first we can write the given equation of uh, the given equation can be written in the form of the surface. Given surface is phi of x comma y comma z equal to c means that is x y plus y, y z plus z x plus x y is equal to phi that is because phi of x y z equal to c that means you have to substitute in place of phi is equal to c that is y z plus z x is equal z x plus x y is equal to phi. Now, you can find out the gradient of phi. How to find out the gradient of phi? See a gradient of phi is equal to dou phi by dou x i cap dou phi by dou y j cap dou phi by dou z k cap. Now, phi is equal to phi is equal to what do you get y z plus z x plus x into y differentiating partially with respect to x and y then dou phi by dou x is equal to here z plus y because here y z is 0 here z is constant x differentiation is 1 here y is constant x differentiation is 1. Similarly, dou phi by dou y is equal to then z is constant y differentiation is 1 plus z x is 0 x y is x is constant y differentiation is 1. Then similarly, dou phi by dou z is equal to what do you get then y plus x this is these are the values of dou phi by dou x and uh, dou phi by dou y dou phi by dou z dou phi by dou x value is z plus y uh, dou phi by dou y is z plus x dou phi by dou z is equal to y plus x you can substitute gradient of phi is equal to z plus y into i cap plus z plus x into j cap plus uh, y plus x into k cap this is gradient of phi 
and what is the given condition is minus 1 comma 2 comma 3 then you can substitute minus 1 comma 2 comma 3 that is gradient of 5 minus 1 comma 2 comma 3 equals what do you get 5 i cap plus 2 j 5 i cap plus 2 j cap plus k cap this is gradient of phi then you have to find out the unit normal surface means well, formula is n cap is equal to n cap is equal to gradient of phi divided by modulus of gradient of phi you know gradient of phi at the point of minus 1 comma 2 comma 3 now you can find out gradient of phi equals square root of i coefficient is phi squared 25 plus j coefficient is 2 is 2 squared is 4 plus 1 squared then the root of 25 plus 4 plus 1 is root 30. Now, you can substitute you know gradient of phi and modulus of gradient of phi this is equal to phi i cap plus 2 j cap plus k cap divided by square root of 30 this is the required result. Next find a unit normal to the surface find a unit normal to the surface x cube y cube z square is equal to 4 at the point p minus 1 comma minus 2 minus 1 comma 2 right and the given equation the given equation in the form of the surface is phi of x comma y comma z equals x cube plus x cube y cube z square minus 4 that you can differentiate you can find out gradient of phi first you can write the formula gradient of phi is equal to dou phi by dou x into i cap plus dou phi by dou y into j cap plus dou phi by dou z into k cap. Now, you can find out the gradient dou phi by dou x. First, you can differentiating partially with respect to x. What you get here y cube z square is constant. You can differentiate in the x cube is 3 x square. This is equal to 3 x square y cube into z square i cap first term. The second term, if you are differentiating partially with respect to y, you get uh, the x cube is constant and z square is constant, y cube differentiation is 3 y square, then 3 x plus 3 x cube y square z square into j cap. Next, similarly, dou phi by dou z, the third term you can differentiating partially with respect to z, x cube y cube is uh, as it is and z square differentiation is 2 z, then x cube plus x cube y cube then 2 z into k cap this is the gradient of phi. See here after getting gradient of phi you can substitute the values minus 1 comma minus 1 comma 2 this is gradient of phi at the point minus 1 comma minus 1 2 that means you have to replace x by minus 1 and y by minus 1 z by 2 that is equal to minus 12 i cap minus 12 j cap plus 4 k cap this is after substituting the values of minus 1 minus 1 2 that means you have to replace x by minus 1 and y by minus 1 z by 2 this is gradient of phi at the point of minus 1 minus 1 2 now you can find out modulus of gradient of phi equals square root of i coefficient is minus 12 minus 12 whole squared plus g coefficient is minus 12 whole squared and k coefficient is 4 whole squared then minus 12 whole squared minus 12 it becomes the square root of 3 not 4. Now, the, uh, the unit normal vector is n cap is equal to gradient of phi divided by modulus of gradient of phi. Gradient of phi is 12 minus 12 i cap minus 12 j cap plus 4 k cap divided by square root of 3 not 4 this is the unit normal vector. Next find the angle between find the angle between the direction of the normals to the surfaces x square y z equal to 1 at the point p minus 1 comma 1 comma 1 and q 1 comma minus 1 comma minus 1 the given surface is the given surface is phi of x comma you can uh, phi of x comma y comma z equals x squared y z equal to 1 at any point 
x comma y comma z of this surface the normal is along the vector. The first we can write gradient of phi, gradient of phi is dou phi by dou x i cap plus dou phi by dou y j cap plus dou phi by dou z k cap. Now, you can differentiating partially with respect to x. If you differentiating partially with respect to x, the given surface is phi of x comma y comma z is equal to x squared y z equal to 1. That function you can differentiating partially with respect to x. Here y z is constant, x squared difference 2 x and 1 is 0. Then dou phi by dou x is 2 x plus 2 x y z into i cap. Similarly, if they were differentiating partially with respect to y, what you get? y is constant, x squared z is constant, x squared z is as it is, then y coefficient is, y differentiation is 1. Then similarly, then uh, differentiating partially with respect to z, then x squared y is, con x squared y is constant, z differentiation is 1. Therefore, the point p of minus 1 comma 1 comma 1 the normal is along the vector the a gradient of phi at the point p you get minus 2 i cap plus j vector plus k vector similarly q, q value is 1 comma minus 1 comma minus 1 the normal is along the vector b that is the modulus of gradient of p is equal to 2 i vector minus j minus k. Sir, if theta is the angle between the direction of these normals, if theta is the angle between the directions of these normals, we have cos theta equals cos theta equals a vector dot b vector divided by modulus of a vector into modulus of b vector. Sir, Already you know a vector value is, uh, you know a vector value, a vector value is to minus 2 i vector, minus 2 i vector plus j vector plus k vector and b vector is equal to uh, 2 i vector minus j vector minus k vector. Now, you can substitute here, this is equal to a 2 i cap plus j vector plus k vector dot a 2 i vector minus j vector minus k vector divided by square root of 2 square plus 1 square plus 1 square square root of 2 square plus 1 square plus 1 square. Now, then you can take the cross power dot product i dot i is 1 that is 2 into 2 is 4 j dot j is minus 1 k dot k is, is 1 you get minus 6 here square root of root 6 square root of root 6 you get is equal to minus 6 divided by square root of root 6 you get minus 1. This gives the theta, this gives the theta is equal to pi as the required angle thus at the given points the normal to the given surface are in opposite directions. See I am today I am going to stop it. If any doubts you can ask me or you can ask in the next class also. Any questions please?